Hey folks, Ashley, all things and I just want to show you uh, my take on a mandibular block. I've been mentored by many folks, and everyone has their own different techniques, and this is just one that I've been taught. So let's get you to open there for me. Now this patient's already numb, and it's just easier to show when they're already numb. So the first thing I do typically is trying to figure out where the anterior border of the ramus is. Uh, I mean, you've got gout gates, you've got akinose, you've got just a standard, uh, I think it's called the Clark's. And essentially, you kind of bend the tip, you can keep it straight, the bevel. I mean, there's so many different little things. Let me just show you what I do. Anterior board of the ramus, and one in oral surgeon, I mean, there are different techniques. So typically, we'll go to uh, periosteum. You can probably be a little more higher. And essentially, I'm just gonna walk it back. Now, normally, this is gonna, t a mandibular block takes me about three minutes because the patient's typically not numb. Okay, so we're gonna go, make sure, let me just rotate this around, aspirate. There we go. All right, so go to bone, and we have the plungers. So I'm just checking all the time, make sure I'm aspirating. <coughs> You can see I'm slowly making sure I'm walking my way back. Arguments about needle deflection and whatnot. Let me spin that around so you can see. So you can see we have the plunger, and I'm just going to pull back, just aspirating. And normally, like I said, it takes about three minutes because this gentleman's numb already. I can go ahead and some section with this. Um, let's do that and then that's where a buckle, long buckle, the long buckle runs along the anterior border of the uh, ramus. So there's different ways of doing it. We can come here, come a little more uh, anterior like there, or you can uh, approach it from right around there. Hope that helps. Cheers.